It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I So two liters a day Here we go, Sammy for breakfast. How is it? It's quite nice. Quite nice? Mm. Ooh, cane pepper. Mmm. Wow. It's nice, eh? Pretty good. Mmm. Haven't had any fats all week. When you haven't eaten fats and taste that oil, uh. it triggers. Wow. Salmon every morning for the next five days. <laughs> I really didn't feel like carbs or anything this morning. No, neither. Put like every little bit of it. Mm. That was hands down the best thing that we've eaten all week. Wow. Now, overnight oats has turned into salmon in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Early morning salmon. Wow. I never would have thought that I would have liked salmon without salt so much. Mm. That was proper. Back it up, girl! Millie, really? another day at the office, huh? Yeah, girl. Ready to kill it? Guess what? Millie, it's the 20th of October. Do you know what that means? Yeah. It's gonna be a good day, because every day's a good day. Oh yeah, 20th of October. Oh yeah, she knows it. Alright guys, it's next meal time. So I just got the good old chicken mince and capsicum with the cabbage. I'm not having really any carbs with this meal um, other than that little bit of capsicum because I'm about to go see my Chinese doctor and I want to be nice and healthy so that he can get a good reading on me. I don't want to be all bloated or anything like that. And we're not training until about 8 o'clock tonight so when I get back I'll probably have another small meal like this so we actually cooked up quite a bit of it just now. Um, and then I'll throw in a little bit of pumpkin and then just before training I might have a little bit of pineapple just for that pre-workout with the beetroot like yesterday's workout. So yeah. That's basically it. I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to shoot off to the doctors. I'm going to go past Coles and get more turkey mince because that's all we can eat, really eat. What else do we need? Mango. Oh, mango. Mango, mango, mango. Frozen, Frozen mango is good, man. When you need a little bit of a sugar hit, and just... Alright, I just quickly back home to take the Chinese medicine. I have to have my tea before I go to see the doctor. Well, he not happy. Well, there it is. I left it here. I'm supposed to grab it this morning. Ah, yo! Thirty second. Oh shit! I got the metal lid on there. Oh, that could have been bad. Camera's about to die. I'm gonna quickly shot this back. I accidentally put it in for three minutes instead of thirty seconds. So I put an ice cube in it. It's still very hot. Oh, yuck! Come on, bro, cool down. Ugh. Oh, that's so much harder to do when it's really hot. What's up, guys? So I just ducked off to Coles on my way back from the Chinese doctor. And I was on a bit of a mission to get some more food, so I bought a whole heap of turkey mince, six packets of it, so that way we don't run out. And I bought a whole heap of um, frozen fruit as well, so some blueberries. I got. Oh, I was walking past the grapes, and I tried one of these grapes, and I was like, "Wow, they are fresh as man." So I got some of those. Gosh, tropical smoothie mix that's got pineapple, banana, and mango in it, and then some frozen pineapple for the pre-workout as well. BAM! BAM! And I got the salmon. Because that's our breakfast for the next five days. you got to try these grapes, man. Yeah, look at how fresh they are. They're so round. Look how boring look at they that. are. Look at that. Look, look at, at it. it. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Oh. It's fresh. That's a good grape. They must have just got delivered today. It's juicy. Because the and entire sweet. fruit section was restocked. Coles I was like, Coles. Fresh fruit. Fresh Coles. Fruit. Coles, 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 Coles. Yeah, got the salmon, I got the turkey. Oh, alright. 
and six packets of turkey mints. No fluffing around, just execution. Whoa. Now that is a meal fit for a lion. <laughs> With the four chips. <laughs> You can't beat those sweet potato chips. No, they well, you can. Yeah, you the can. real sweet potato yeah. fries, they're the banging ones. How good this little mixed packet of frozen veg? I mean, frozen fruit. Yeah, what's the papaya like? It's really good. Yeah? I like all of it. Once it defrosts for about seven minutes, it'll be pretty banging. How much water did you drink today? Um, I drank like more than half of it and then I filled it up and put it in the freezer. Oh, that's your one? Yeah, that's mine. I already had two shakers. What's that? One and a half liters. You should smash this before the end of train before right, we train it. tonight. I'll do it. Maybe fill it up to the top and smash it. That's oh, your mission. No, nah, nah. nah, yeah, whole one. Nah. How many mils is that? No, nah, because one liter. One liter before training and half if a I liter before. The first half. Yeah, so that's one and a half liters. You need to drink mm. about two liters a day, bro. Minimum. Alright. No, but then I'll drink more after. No, you won't. Yeah, Who are you really? kidding, bro? Yeah, you like after. starve yourself of water when you're draining. Before bed, I'll just scull two. Oh, more. yeah. Last night, do you want me to be peeing all night? <laughs> oh, I can't drink water before bed. So, two litres a day. Mm -hmm. After training, I'll drink more. I will, I swear. Ooh, bit of hard styles on the Friday night. Alright guys, so it's been a long day at work, been here for about 12 hours now, well except for that little break that I took off to go and see the Chinese doctor, but anyway it's 9 o'clock at night and we're about to hit that arm session, but the boys here, Joey and Big Oz, and CB as well, Nala, and we're going to smash it out, AB Dub Styles, we've got the hard styles playing just to make sure that the tempo is uplifting, we need every little bit of energy that we can get, because we are no caffeine, no sugar. And no fats, just straight protein, bro. I literally just ate the broccolini as a snack before. And I'm feeling it, bro. I'm feeling all the energy from the earth. Bro, today in the car, hold on. <laughs> hold on, bro. Oh, I missed that cut, I like, just mad happy. You know? Yeah, bro, it was nice weather today, huh? All right, guys, so we're just about to start on our arm workout, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different routine to usual. So instead of doing our dumbbell curls standing, I'm gonna be seated. And that just takes a little bit of the swing out of it. It takes a little bit of core out of it as well. So you can't actually kind of lean to the side as much and then lever up. So it's actually a little bit harder. So I take a little bit of weight off, like I'll probably go down one dumbbell increment. And then we're gonna be doing a couple of tricep movements back to back. So we start with the push downs as usual. And then we're gonna be doing a TRX movement where we're doing an overhead extension. And then the no weight arm extensions as well. So that's four movements back to back, no resting. So with this movement, this is a really good alternative to doing a skull crusher. It's basically the same movement, same angles, but I feel like because you're using your body weight, you can kind of adjust the amount of pressure on your joints. So skull crushers is probably the number one movement that I never really like doing because of all the pressure that it puts on your elbow joint. If you want to do a variation, give this a go. It's basically the same thing. Go up on your tippy toes as well so that you can lean into the weight and adjust the amount of pressure. Lean into it, elbows are flared out a little bit, feel that nice deep stretch. <sighs> oh. If you want to make it harder, you just take a little bit of a step backwards.
Oh. Ah. All right, now we're going straight into the tricep push downs. So I'm drawing my elbows backwards as I raise the bar up, leading the bar up just in front of my chest and then pushing down a little bit in front of the body. Oh. 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 Ah, fucking hot rods. Oh. Ah. All right, because I pre-exhausted the exercise, I mean, the triceps with that exercise on the TRX, I was already burning at about four reps. Normally when I do that exercise, I gotta do about 15 reps before I actually really start to feel that nice deep burn. Now we're gonna do the no weight arm extension to finish off. Yeah, he's got hot rods, whatever. Oh yeah, hot rods, whatever. Oh, ah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh. Ah. Yeah, so oh. Ah. Hey. Feel like you're gonna pass out when you're doing that, bro. Like you're holding your breath. And you're like, oh. <sighs> All right. So after finishing up four sets on that exercise circuit. We're gonna move in to do the next one. So we're gonna do a rope for 15 reps, then weighted dips, so another tricep movement, and then we'll be moving into the barbell curls for the biceps. So we'll probably just do about three on this circuit. levels are running low right about now I just did my last set on that super set and I was dying on the barbell kills by the time I got to about six reps I was already thinking about putting it down the target rep range is about 10 and I just feel like I'm running out of breath real quick I guess come to the end of the week calories pretty low long day we're gonna keep pushing through we got one more exercise to do so we're gonna do a forearm exercise and just a um, cable kickback for the triceps and then that should wrap it up right there all right right there, right there. All right, all right, all right. 
Alright, so we didn't end up filming those last two sets because we were all just so cooked by the end of it. But anyway, we're back at home and we're cooking up dinner now. I've got the Chinese medicine on the boil. Went and saw the doctor today. And just so you know, my Chinese doctor is not actually Chinese. So even though I was imitating a Chinese person earlier today, my Chinese doctor's name's Graham. And he's as Aussie as they get. But yeah, anyway, check out the feast. So we don't have any steak with us, so we're like, oh well. The only thing that we can really eat is salmon, and we're not going to have mushrooms this time around. We're having the broccoli. Oh yeah, mushrooms. Oh, we're having mushrooms. A bit, a bit sauteed. A bit sauteed. With a little bit of tan bark on the boil, and 150 grams of sweet potato, one each. We should buy more mushrooms. Oh man, I did the funniest Snapchat of Millie today. you got to watch it. Wait. <laughs> Look at the avocado next to it. Oh, the big Osman did the double session today. I can't even. That felt like a lifetime ago that I trained him in the morning for legs. And he pushed hard. He PB'd on squats today. And then come back and did arms. What a man. He come back and do the arm with me. Oh my god. Look at his mane. <laughs> Look at those buns. I love watching the story back from like a whole day ago. Like, even though that was today. It feels like it was ages. Oh my god, look at Josh, my man. 16 years old. Shredded to the bone. We got Big Michael Lai. Ripping out the seated row. I love Michael Lai. Michael Lai's a good kid, yeah. huh? Oh yeah, all the foods on the Snapchats. Mm. Bit of beetroot, bit more Millie, bit of Joey. How you going with those killer delts? We're training buys and tries, and like all I can see is his delts. <laughs> all right, here we go. Food's ready. Oh, wow! Now that is a meal. <laughs> oh, how good does that look, guys? Let's turn the exposure up a little bit. Wowzy. Actually, the broccoli is nice like that. Yeah, that's what you call al dente, you bro. Think? Grab it with my hands. Mmm. Not bad at cooking it on the pan. I Imagine if up. that had salt on it. Oh. Oh, cayenne pepper. Oh, yeah. Imagine butter. Oh. oh. Let's cook it in a bit of butter. Yeah. I would never do that, but I just like to imagine that imagine right now it, yeah. because I'm not allowed. But you would actually never cook it with it. Never. You just I wouldn't even think about doing that, but just you the idea of it is exciting, you know? Mm. And that's all you need. All right. I just finished clearing out this whole desk area, which has been there since the day I moved in. So if you're a long time follower, you would have remembered me setting that motherfucker up, which took me a long time. And I spent hours and hours and hours sitting at that desk. So I've got actually a lot of memories from writing up programs after programs after programs. But anyway, I'm getting rid of it. And I was telling my mom I'm just gonna take it to the warehouse and leave it there. And she lost her shit. She was like, give me the desk. And I was like, all right. <laughs> It's actually a really nice desk. Anyway, I'm going to be putting a photography studio here so that we can start taking photos of all the apparel that's coming in. So we do have plans to launch in about December and we've got a lot of new stock and a lot of new colors coming in for the track pants and the t-shirts and the women's range and the singlets. So we've expanded everything heaps like I was telling you guys and I can't wait to show you it all. So the website's pretty much done. We're just plugging in all the products and all the photos and descriptions and everything. And then we'll launch it all at one big time. So look out for that announcement. It's not too far away. I know I've been saying that pretty much all year round, but it's going to be worth the wait. Well, I got the um, the backdrop, the big white like backdrop thing delivered to the warehouse today. So I'll come and install it tomorrow, I guess, when i got a little bit more time. But uh, Millie, it looks like you're going to have to relocate, bruh. Anyway guys, that wraps up day five of the gut cleanse. That was probably the hardest day that we've had so far, even though we've probably had the most amount of food within day five. I don't know. I don't think it's really to do with the food. I think it's more to do with the fact that like it's coming to the end of the week 
and we've gone no carbs pretty much and no fats up until today and then like we did legs yesterday the day before that I did a double session and then we went a whole day of work today and then trained really late at night at like not eight eight o'clock no like nine nine o'clock nine, nine o'clock we trained about nine thirty we like really yeah. started getting into it so that was a really long day and yeah I don't know tonight's dinner felt like we really needed it anyway as of Day 5 to day 10, it's all the same, so the diet doesn't really change. It's just a matter of maintaining that for another 5 days. But we will continue to vlog and keep track of everything, so you guys will still get to see how we're feeling over the next 5 days, and that's about it really. So, off to bed now, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, Active Fam! Underwater.